Hey everybody, good Thursday morning. Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We're looking at another hot, humid day today. We were in the mid-90s yesterday, hit 95, which is the hottest day of the year so far today. Probably the same area, maybe 96, 97. And with that intense heat and humidity, we've got a cold front approaching from the north and west, which could kick off some stray, uh, strong thunderstorms. I don't think these will be widespread showers and storms today, but as this front gets closer, we have so much instability and some what we call downdraft cape, which potentially could mean downburst type wind. So a day like today, you typically watch for these pop up storms that can produce really quick downburst or wet microburst in the setup. You see the cold front lurking off to the north and west. Pretty easy to see. It will slowly be shifting to the east this afternoon into tonight. If I put the thunderstorm outlook, this is a severe weather risk. You could see most of the western Carolinas and even up towards the Virginia border in that low end risk right now. Um, and again, that'd be, that would be for damaging winds. And then tomorrow, as the front gets near the coast, you see that risk shift down to South Carolina. So it's going to cross over us. But again, we're not looking at anything widespread, just like we're seeing these scattered storms developing ahead of it. That's kind of what we're going to see today. But don't be surprised if some really strong thunderstorms develop this afternoon, especially as the front gets closer and we can get into that in intense heating of the day. So let's take a look at the short range rapid refresh. Starting at 10 a.m. this morning, you can see the front lurking off to the west. We'll go into the afternoon hours. I'll stop this around four o'clock and you can see that heating of the day, things will start cranking up. We'll have the sea breeze getting active, but here comes the front. Notice how scattered these storms are, but where they pop up, they're going to be pretty intense. This is five o'clock. This is six o'clock. This is seven o'clock. So again, not widespread. A lot of us are going to be dry. Trust me, I want rain on my lawn as well. Um, but this is not a day where everyone's going to see us. This is going to be basically isolated to scattered. You see through eight o'clock and then nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, the front gets closer. So again, it's it's pretty scattered. I'll loop this a couple times. This is an 18 hour rapid refresh. You get the kind of idea heating of the day that four, five, six, seven o'clock time frame is when we'll see the storms really bubble up. And one of the things I look at on a day like today, you heard me refer to this it's called downdraft cape. So you see the area over the southeast. I know this is a kind of rudimentary map, but you see this area with a thousand here. Um, that's basically 1000 uh, joules per kilogram of downdraft cape. That's pretty significant. That's a high enough downdraft cape that I would be watching the potential that we're going to see some downburst type winds. So when these storms develop this afternoon, um, and the heating of the day, the atmosphere becomes really hot and humid. We're taking that warm, humid air into the upper levels of the atmosphere. It gets cold up there. It comes crashing back to the ground. Um, basically, because the air under the ground is still hot and humid, you've got the reverse buoyancy here. That thing is going to come crashing to the ground. So when you see these cells, these cores are going to go up. We're likely going to see some severe thunderstorm warnings issued as that wet, cold air comes crashing to the ground, spreads out in all directions. And creates downburst winds. So the time frame again, starting at four o'clock, five, six, seven, eight to nine o'clock tonight. Expect the risk for some isolated severe storms. Of course, I will post any warnings that come across on my Twitter feed and just stay weather aware if you're outside today because the storms that develop could be a little stronger than your typical summer storm.